Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord Two One Two, and I'm with Chris. What's up, Chris? You hear me, Chris? I don't hear you. Hello. Hey, what's up, guys? There you go. All right. So, Chris, it, is it that maybe I'm biased? When it comes to Godzilla, like where I'm so much of a fan that I'm like blinded by everything around and I act like I just looked at things wrong or because like I really believed that Godzilla King of the Monsters was going to be like well, let, 150 million. It's hold like on, this, hold on before before you before you go into that, let, let's kind of explain what we're actually talking about before. Yeah. Right, we're talking about Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Yeah. And, like, I'm just dumbfounded that maybe, I, like, how, how I got it so wrong, my calculations, and you thought it was going to do super great too, right? I mean, I did, yeah. I, 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 I don't, what's going on? Like, what the hell is happening? Okay, so th this, is, this is what, this is the general situation right now is that we're starting to get the first predictions for what the movie is, is going to make this weekend. And basically from that, there's a lot of sites estimating what um, the lifetime performance of this movie is going to be at the box office. Right. And to just put it into, sh into a short sentence, uh, it, this is not good at all. Yeah. Um, basically the <laughs> initial projections that said it's going to do 50 to 55 million they were basically, no pun intended, they were on the money. It basically did around $50 million, um, this weekend, which, right. is, which is not great. It's not like the worst thing ever, but it's not great for something like this. Right. Um, they're saying that the budget for the movie was apparently around either $185 million or 235 Jesus. And the marketing budget was apparently at somewhere around $60 million. Which I think is very, I don't think that's the, the accurate number at all. I think it was much more than that. Um, wait, okay, so wait a minute. We're talking, wait, let's go back mathematics wise. Mm -hmm. So before the marketing, mm -hmm. they spent 180 million to 200 million? 185 to 235. So let's just say 235. Okay. And marketing, maybe like $100 million? I would say that's probably closer to what it was. So three thirty-five, in in the like as a uh, high figure, I would say so. I was saying four hundred. Let's just say three. Let's say three, sure. right? So, and and here's the thing: I don't understand. Like, I will have like China gave a great amount of money to Avengers Endgame. Mm -hmm. You know, Terminator Genesis. Even they gave it a lot of money. You know, I'm saying all these different movies. Mm -hmm. But on opening day, like, it really didn't have that – I mean, two days in already. And, like, well, Thursday was a preview for us, but Friday was an actual day. Right. Like, I have numbers here right now. Okay, now maybe I'm jumping the gun. I don't know. But we got domestically, as of Friday, 19,605,000. Foreign numbers, like, is, like, nothing. It's, like, 12,700,000. That's, that's like... Completely, that's not the completely accurate one yet. There are other sites that are reporting the accurate foreign Okay. Because it but, is actually... It's doing moderately well in China. That's not the, that's not the area that they're concerned with, because that's doing what, apparently what they had expected. So I got... Okay, so I got that... How much did it make in China so far? We don't know. I, I don't know. I, I've only I've only heard that it, it's that's not a territory that they're worried about at this point. So, I mean, I thought like tomorrow we will have a, a tomorrow at eleven thirty or eleven eleven thirty. They're going to show us what it did Saturday, and they're going to do an estimation mm -hmm. because it is Sunday. They're going to predict what it's going to do Sunday. So it's not going to be accurate until Monday when we actually see the actuals, right? Because yeah. they want to give it to you. So they were saying it's not even going to make fifty million; it's going to make like forty-nine million, or whatever, yeah, yeah, or less. Mm -hmm. I really thought that 
I, I went hard. I said it was going to make like 70, 75 million a year. And then yeah. it was going to be like over a hundred million foreign numbers or, or whatever. And I really thought that this movie was going to be like crushing. I mean, you saw me how positive I was the other day. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, I saw it. Chris saw it. Scott saw it. Let's go, man. Destroying Avengers, doing all these different things. And then it's like, I was, I, again, I, you can't really tell from two days, but like, I'm worried now. I'm actually worried. Oh, yeah, no. It, and I, I want to say this before we go on. Um, whatever it finishes off at the box office does not change my opinion on how the movie was at all. This right. Was, no, and I don't Nobody's going to change my opinion of what I thought of it. I'm not going to go back and nitpick and do stupid shit. So if you're, if, if you're watching this and you're on the fence about going to see it because of all this, don't, don't listen to this. Just, Just go, go see, see it. Because you're going to like it if you're a Godzilla fan. Go, go see Godzilla, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And go see my, it. My proof, my proof of that is, and this is the one thing that I just don't understand because it's, it, it just doesn't add up. If you go look at the Rotten Tomato score right now for the audience score, it's got like over 5,000 reviews apparently, and it's at like an 89 to 90%. Excellent. So people who are going to see this movie are walking out going, yeah, that was great. That was fantastic. So this is my thing. Somebody at Legendary knew something because I'm thinking about all of the things that kind of made me go, why did they do that in the, in the last few months of this movie before it came out? The first big thing to me was the review embargo being only released two days before the movie. That's never a good sign, no matter what it is. You could have Avengers with Galactus in it, and if they release it on like the 29th and it's supposed to come out on the 30th, you should start worrying because that's because they feel that people are not going to pay attention the day before just going to go see it. So yeah, that's why they, they try to have it leaked because yeah. people are not going to look like us. You know that if they release the review embargo like three weeks beforehand, that they know that people are going to love it and they just don't right. care. Um, then there was the projection saying 50 to 55 million. That's what made everybody go, what, what do you mean? Right. Because uh, up until that point, up until those two things, there was no indication that this movie was going to do this badly. Right. Everybody, it was the highest rated trailer at Comic-Con. Every trailer that released had millions of views. And if you yeah. look at the reactions on YouTube and around the internet, everybody was happy. Right. So the main, so like, what is the main problem? What is happening right now? And it, it comes down to, to one thing. For some reason, in the past month, people decided, I'm not going to see that movie. See, and I don't know why. See, here's the thing. I was just looking on the internet, right? And I came across this article that for some reason I have a feeling people are looking at this. And this guy, I guess from Atlantic, said this movie's a disaster, right? Like very strong wording, right? He's one of the main critics that didn't like it. Right, very strong wording. Yeah. In fact, every time you look up Godzilla, his thing is the first thing to pop up. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking at all his articles, right? Because I'm like, wait a minute. Something's up, right? And I'm seeing a lot of stuff. It's like he, he makes like nine times out of ten, he'll bash the crap out of a movie. Sure. Right? Like, and it's just odd to me. And then certain movies, he's, he loves movies, but it's like, why you like that movie? When, you know what I'm saying? Not that I'm, I'm just questioning. It's like, it's like his whole MO is mostly negative. Mm -hmm. Now, could it be that he's saying bullshit just to get a shock value like article? Maybe. That's, it's possible. Yeah, but maybe. No. But to me, it's like, like, did I see something that they didn't see? Because like, and then I saw some reviews. Like I, I you know, I, I looked at Angry Joe, right? I didn't mm -hmm. watch the whole video and I'm like, wow, like you don't like it. Like what, what, and you know. Here's my thing. Okay. And I, I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to uh, make fun of Angry Joe or anything, but right. No, I'm not either. I just he's what I call a radical Godzilla fan, to the point where he wants a movie that has no humans in it at all, and it's just literally just Godzilla fighting. Yeah, but you monster. can't do that. Nobody. You're never gonna do. They never did that in any of the Godzilla movies. No. It's always like that. That you know that that would talk and there was these people that everybody has a little side story. So you always have human interaction. You know, so like, but like, I'll say this. If you, if you think that a good Godzilla movie 
would be Godzilla with just monsters, right? You can't have it. You have you, you clearly don't understand the point of what this character is because human beings and his interaction with them are literally the point of Godzilla. Right. Uh, and, and that, 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 like his re- the reaction to humans because they're of their fear of the atomic bomb and at the time was literally what started all of this off. If you right. take the humans out of there, you take away the things that made him what he is, his motivation for doing what he does, Right. And any other interactions, whether he's fighting another monster, he's fighting the humans. If that's gone, you just have Godzilla, and Godzilla alone. I'm sorry, he's not that interesting alone. Yeah, you can't. That's you can't have that. That doesn't make any sense. Right. And and the thing is, people complained before there wasn't enough. The first movie, enough Godzilla. They didn't like that, right? Mm-hmm. That there was just you know whatever. Then this one, they're complaining that there's too much humans. It's like, I mean. I don't think you could please everybody. Like I, I don't understand. I'm gonna say this too, and and this is gonna this is gonna come. This is gonna be radical. Not everybody might agree with this, but I gotta tell you, I think that Gareth Edwards knew everything he had to do, and that's why 2014 is gonna be a more successful film. Despite what everybody said about, oh, there wasn't enough Godzilla, the humans weren't that interesting, you know what? You got off, you got up off your ass to go see that movie. Yeah. Now you get everything that you said you wanted out of that movie in this one, and you're going, I don't really want to see it. So don't you're, you people who said that their opinions to me mean very little. Now there, there was there was people nitpicking, right? And they were like, yeah. Oh. You know, why is it I want to want to see Godzilla with his tail and they did it from the angle of the human's perspective. Why can't we just have the straight screen and watching them battle? Why is it on? You have to look up. You have to look to the side. Like, I didn't get that at all. Like, I, I was completely satisfied so with was what I. I saw. I mean, like, I, I just don't understand. And, and you have I, great I, actors and great I, actors. I the different perspectives of the fights in this movie. Because- right. The perspectives from the monsters themselves where the camera was pulled out wide and then you had the perspectives from the humans watching this and the right. reason they did that was to give you the idea of if you were standing right there and these things were fighting above you what would that be like right and i think that's an ingenious way of doing that because so. toho couldn't do that in the past because the technology they were using didn't warrant those kind of angles yeah i liked it I mean, I loved it. I thought it was great. It's one of like the best guys on the movies. I mean, they did that in 2014 as well, and they even did that in Kong Skull Island. No, no, they didn't I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this more than God the 2014 Godzilla. I I like this one just a little bit more than 2014, but I, but saying that, I did like it more. But yeah, I got I got to tell you though, and and this is the pattern that I'm seeing now is that maybe the slow burn Godzilla movies are the way that you have to do them. Because 2014 did you mean it. Like, you mean like, dun, 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 dun. And well, like, I'm, I'm saying like the, whereas King of the Monsters was like, you're into the action immediately. Yeah. Maybe the buildup for 2014, like they did it in that movie, maybe that's the way to go. As much as people so. complained about it. No, I don't think so. Like, you, can't, you can't say no, though, because the, the past two movies that did that, were massively successful. And the one that didn't do it is not even going to break even. That's how bad this is. I don't understand. I, mean, I can't believe how like totally wrong I was about this. Now, here, here's the... I, I do want to say that it's not all doom and gloom because I have seen that there, there have been some comparisons made that do actually make a lot of sense. And if you look at the evidence, there is evidence to support that this may be what happens. This is exactly, almost to a T, what happened with Kong Skull Island. Its first weekend, it came out, and it was like total disaster. Then all of a sudden, one Saturday, it went through the fucking roof. I'm right. talking domestic and foreign. Maybe People that will happen. Rose, and it wound up doing better than Godzilla 2014 at the end. Maybe that, that's what happened. And a lot of people are saying, don't freak out just yet, because the word of mouth for this movie is unbelievable. It is unbelievable movie. So, X. so everybody should go see it. Everybody. Is it? You possible? won't be disappointed. I don't think. 
Is it possible that maybe one day, maybe next weekend or something, that for some reason people are like, I'm going to see that? Sure. Um, but I got to tell you, right now, it doesn't look good at all. At all. Which is really unfortunate. I can't believe it. I mean, I wanted so this, to see it again, too. This is the thing. Everybody should be grateful that they finished filming Godzilla vs. Kong. I know. Because if they didn't, that movie would have been canceled tomorrow. Right. We, this may be it now. Oh, um, I, think it, I think this is it. We yeah, might I, be, I can't believe one day was so, like, so positive. Yep. Now we're, like, down in the dumps, like, oh, my God, the MonsterVerse is over. Like, we probably will not get any more Godzilla movies in America for a long damn time after next year. Well, we won't get any American-produced Godzilla movies for a That's while. That's what I said, for America, um, yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll still see the, the world. I know, world. but I, I still, man. I feel we got it right now. And it's well, like, we, did. we did get it right. My, my thing is, is that, for some reason, and again, I don't know what it is, but people just decided, I'm not going to see it. I thought it was a perfect mixture. Like, I loved all the, the human characters. Yeah. I, I thought it was great. Like, I just don't understand. See, I don't think it was anything in the movie. Like, that, like because this is the thing. If the movie made a lot of money, like, let's say it, it, it did, a, like, a really great opening, right? And then after the fact, people were saying, I, I didn't like this. This is why I don't like the movie. That would make more sense to me. But you, I can't even say that it was something in the movie that made people angry because nobody went to see it. Right. What, what, is, what happened that turned people off? That's what I don't I have no idea. I just don't understand that. I have no idea. I'm, I'm like, I am mind boggled right now. Like, I'm looking at stuff and I'm like, I just have no damn answers for once. The only thing I can think of is that this was the greatest marketing in the history of cinema, and they were able to keep the negative stuff from ever reaching the light of day. That's but what negative, though? Negative. Like, people that say they're negative, I didn't see that there was negative in it. I, a, I, no, 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 I no. I'm, I saying, I'm saying in the initial marketing, like before the movie came out, all I saw was people saying, this looks great. This looks fantastic. So, like, are the critics destroying this movie right now? The professional critics are, yeah. They hate it completely. But like they all people when do people have a listen, really? All the time. <sighs> Rotten Tomatoes is like this zombie is central for people because they just listen to what this is the, insane. The, but here's the thing though. It's so crazy how different the audience score is compared to the to the critics. Because there's literally people on there going, Don't listen to them. They yeah. are absolutely wrong. They Don't are wrong. Them. It's insane. I'm hoping, honestly, because now we have a problem. Because next week is X Men. Yes. And it's like you can't even like, even if you were gonna say maybe a week later it's gonna spike like Skull Island. That's not happening now. Well, X Men and well, X Men. Three, here's the thing: X Men's not gonna do well either because I, I I heard that, but I'm still going to see it anyway. Like I don't care about well, critics. That's the problem, unfortunately, is that. Is that that's what people are gonna do? But I don't I don't know, man. I got to now. I, now here's my thing. Like I, normally, I would be on here and I would be like, "It's over. We're done." You know. Forget. Right. I don't think it, we're done. I just I, like I, I don't said, know what to think. Like I said, they're, they're almost done with Godzilla versus Kong. We're getting right. that. That there's no ifs, ands, or buts. We're getting that movie. But that's probably it. That's probably the that's end. That's it. Of it. That's it for now. My my thing is this. Okay. I've said this before. I'm not upset if Godzilla vs. Kong is it because I've gotten everything I've wanted. Oh, Godzilla, I'm upset. Godzilla vs. Kong is just kind of like icing on the cake for me. Yeah, it's I'm like, upset. Definitely if, upset. If, if they continue, great. I don't know how, but great. Yeah. But if, if that's it for the MonsterVerse, as long as Godzilla vs. Kong is good, I'm not going to complain. Hell no. I'm sorry. I'm totally don't, I don't agree with you because I – like, I can't take that. I, I think we should keep making movies. I, I just don't understand what's happening now with this movie. That's, that's not going to be the case. I know that right now. I mean, here's the thing. If things change and we get spikes, okay. Sure. But, you know, like I said before, a moment I said, no matter what, I said, when Godzilla comes out, Avengers Endgame is done. 
and it needed to make its money before Godzilla comes out because Godzilla's going to knock it totally out of the top five. And then we're done. Because if it can't stay in the top five, we're done. And that's exactly what happened with Endgame. It's out. In fact, it's just like, you You be happy that Endgame is going to make $2,700,000,000 because that's it. It, it. The most it will make now is $2,713,000,000 or some shit or a little bit more, but it's no way it's beating Avatar now. But I expected that when Godzilla came out. I only expected Godzilla to do way more money. Now, again, maybe we're jumping to conclusions because we're shocked because the Friday numbers weren't that spectacular. Right. Maybe, you know, we'll tomorrow be like, oh, shit, it made 80 million here. And oh, shit. And oh, shit, it made like 150 overseas. I'll be happy, you know? Because I'm like, oh, if it makes 230 at least, that's great, you know? But we got to see tomorrow. 1130, maybe the latest morning. I'm, I'm going to be casting it up because I, I, this is going to be nuts. It's, yeah, it's unfortunate. And, and you, know, you know what this might become? This might become one of those movies that nobody goes to see in the theaters. And then when everybody watches it at home, it becomes like, oh, I should have went to go see that. See, I actually thought that Aladdin would get knocked out of the top five immediately. No, it stood at number two. Yeah. You know, it, it made now almost 293 million um, worldwide. And, you know, it, it caused damage too, though. You know, it ate up almost $12 million on Friday. Uh, Rocket Man also ate up 9 million, 200,000. So, and even Ma, the people like – some people is not their cup of tea. They're like, oh, that movie sucks, whatever, right, which I don't think so. That ain't $7 million to, One day that horror movie made $7 million, 240, and even John Wick made $3 million on Friday and Avengers in two, bill, $2 million. But I, I, maybe – you know what it could be, Chris? Maybe the problem is not the movie Godzilla, but there's too much variety – of movies that people actually like and want to see. Could be, yeah. Because you got to think of it, right? People were all for when, when Bohemian, Bohemian Rhapsody came out. They're all for these documentaries and these biop, whatever. Rocket Man gives that to them, right? People were all for the live action Disney movies. It's there. You got a horror movie is there. You got an action movie is there. You got a superhero movie is there. You got a Pokemon. That that might be the answer, Chris. That might be. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I think that that totally might be the answer. That maybe the biggest problem with Godzilla is suffering, like we've said constantly, why are these movies on top of each other, right? Maybe they should have released it in August. Yeah, hold, hold on one second. Yeah. So, again, I maybe I think that's what it is now. Now that I look at all those movies, there's – there's, there's a variety for everyone. There's a movie for everyone. There's too much stuff out hey, there. Man, I got I to gotta head out. Yeah, um, all right. I'm going to go too, Chris. Take care, bro. Thank you. Take care. So maybe that's what it is. It's just way too much variety. People want to see different things. They don't want to just commit to Godzilla. And, and maybe the numbers will spike and maybe not. But uh, I thank Chris, and I'm going to get out of here too. I'll be back later. Take care. Bye for now.